guys, today we're going to tie a fly called the Scruffy. I hope you can see it well. I hope the camera's in focus. Well, anyway, let's get on with the fly. First of all, we have a B110 size 10 grubber hook in the vise, made by Camasan. And we'll start with a thread base. We'll use black thread, that'll be fine today. And we'll just uh, get a small thread base in there. And we'll trim off the excess. The other thing I will do is I'll coat this thread with a dab of super glue, just a small amount. Just to seal it to the hook. Now we're going to add a little bit of weight. If I can find some. There we go. Here's a little bit of lead weight or lead free wire as they use now. We'll just put about. I think five turns should be enough. So just to give it that little bit of extra weight to aid it to sink, you know, that sort of thing. Okay. Now, we'll continue with the thread wraps, building a tapered body from the edge of the Lead free wire. Go across the wire to the front of the fly and do exactly the same as what we do on the back end of the fly. Now, we'll pop a bit of gold ultra wire in, and we'll just tie that in at the end there. Doesn't have to go all the way up the body. We're only using it for a rib anyway, so. Down a little bit there. Okay. The next stage is we'll put a bit of a um, we'll create a dubbing loop. And bring that thread to the front of the fly. Okay, we'll just have that held there to prevent that all twisting up. We'll pop a couple of half inches in there. And we'll rest the bobbin on our bobbin rest. I think today we'll tie this with a, a black peacock Master Bright dubbing. The other one was done with a peacock dubbing in a dun, but we'll go for a darker one. Still the same process, just a different colour dubbing. Just to show you guys that it can be done in different colours and still get the same effect. Okay, so we'll spin that, give that a bit of a whirl. We'll 
We'll make it tight enough so that it all holds in there nicely and we can always brush it out a little bit with a um, and that's what we're trying to avoid <laughs> that'll be okay, I think we'll be able to rescue that okay, now we'll uh, what's going on here oh, I've just got caught on there just now okay, we'll wind that forward tape is already created by the the underwire so okay yeah oh, that's okay right let's drop that out of the way catch those fibers in bring them over the top again Catch them in again, and right back on top of them. Give that a trim. Now with the wire, we can go back the other way and just counter wrap. Probably maybe four ribs. Maybe five. Not the prettiest of flies, but uh, trust me, it doesn't matter. Okay, now whip finish. Get the whip finisher and just build up a nice, nice, -ish neat head and let it cut itself off. <laughs> okay, now just get the dubbing brush. a nice break out and grab your Sally Hansons or other head cement that you might have or whatever you like to use whatever your favorite is And lock those threads in. Being careful not to clog up the eye because we don't want any dramas out on the stream when we can't put our tippet in. Okay, there you have Retro's Scruffy Tight Lines and Screaming Reels. Thank you.